Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Calabresi, professor of neurology at Johns Hopkins University. So in this study, we look to see if there's genetic susceptibility to having a worse case of MS. We know some people have really mild forms of MS and some have more severe forms. We look to see if there's genetic variation that accounts for this. And the way we did that is we used an imaging device that can measure very accurately the nerves in the back of the eye called the retina. And we were able to calculate whether patients were having early signs of nerve damage, even while they were feeling well and functioning well. And we found that the patients who had more rapid rates of nerve degeneration in the back of their eye had expression of variations in genes associated with something called complement. Now, complement's been classically thought of as part of the immune system. It binds to antibodies and helps the immune system kill cells, usually cells that are infected by virus. But about 10 years ago, some researchers found that complement can have a second important role in the brain. And what it does there is it seems to bind to what are called synapses, the connections between one nerve cell and another. And normally when it does this, it helps the cell grow and make connections in the right direction. But in disease, the thinking is that excessive complement depositing on these synapses may lead to what's called stripping of the synapses. And that can lead to damage to the nerve cell and eventually it dies. Now, the big problem in MS is that the therapies we have predominantly work in people who have what's called relapsing remitting MS, where there's new inflammatory events coming from the immune cells in the bloodstream attacking the brain and spinal cord. We really don't have anything that's effective for the progressive form of MS where the nerve cells start to die. And so this potentially opens up a new pathway of investigation for how we could intervene in the nerve damaging uh, aspects of MS that underlie disease progression.